Happy to have you with us for NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hip. Grant, during your 18-year career, you only went to a new team three times. Not a lot of movement there for you, my friend. What was switching teams like? Well, B.A., at this point of the season, it's just it's too early. I mean, you're still trying to get comfortable, trying to learn a new system, your new environment, and really just find your place within the organization. Looking at the starting five for the Boston Celtics. Horford at the four with Porzingis at the five. The star wing pair, it's Brown and Tatum outside. And it's Holiday in at the one spot. Kuzma, the pass to Gafford. Back to Kuzma. Six on the shot clock. The Wizards need to get off a shot here. And the dunk by Gafford. All right, if you're DeLon Wright, you've got to be willing to set your teammates up. What a pass on time, on target. Brown looking around. Pass to Tatum. And he drives in. And finished off by Tatum. <laughs> and for him, a slam like that is a signature move. Yeah, it's like he just jumps over everyone time and time again. Right outside. Here's the pick. And Jalen Brown gets a whistle that time. That's his first foul. Yeah, he tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. Here's Gafford. Here's Obdia. Clock at six. Jacks up a three. Porzingis grabs the board. Well, you can see why the defense dared him to shoot it. That's not really his spot. It's been a career of ups and downs for Porzingis, but he seems to have found himself outdoors. Well, let's think about the start of his career with the New York organization. He was off to a tremendous start. Then the injury sets in, and obviously there's a physical and mental battle you've got to overcome. But boy, now that he's moved on, he is starting to become a force. Pass to Horford. Back to Tatum. Three-pointer. And can't get it to go. Now one of two. Absolutely tenacious, guys. Stuck right on him defensively. Bothered that shot. Right, the pass to Shamit. On the wing, Kuzma. Fires the three. And another miss by Washington. The Celtics have gone three of four. Off to a nice start. The drive by Brown. Horford with it. Gafford picks him up. Horford passes to Holiday. Three-pointer off the mark. And so it's Kuzma who brings up the ball for Washington. Four-point game. Last game matched up with the Grizzlies. A tough loss there. It really just wasn't a fun game for them. Their offense looked stagnant, and they couldn't get anything going. I thought they were outworked and outplayed in just about every phase of the game. Maybe that's one of those situations where you say, hey, let's move on. We got to see that one again. That block was all out effort. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it. The Wizards have gone one of four to begin this one. Shamit passes to right. Now Gafford. Pass to Shamit. Gafford with a screen on Brown. Here's Shamit. The Wizards with another miss. Just one made field goal in five tries. Not a good start. That's good from Holiday on the assist from Brown. Yeah, in the paint, Holiday's agility makes him tough to contain. He just needs a little space to go to work. Timeout, timeout. Now a timeout called by Washington. This is hard to believe, Grant, 
but the Wizards haven't been to the conference finals since 1979. It is hard to believe. I mean, they've had some fantastic players over the years. But let me tell you, these fans in my hometown are hungry for a deep playoff run. That one on Tatum. Well, the unique pregame fashion sense of Kyle Kuzma always seems to be generating buzz for us. I like it, B.A. He is very tapped into the fashion world. He certainly has shown off some intriguing, shall we say, looks on his way into the building. But I am all about it. What I love about Kyle Kuzma is this guy understands there's more to...